Takakuri XX or Compulsive Gambler XX is licensed and produced by Square Enix, Dive 2 Entertainment and Avex Pictures. Studios Mappa, Networks, Tokyo MX, MBS, BS11, RKB and TVA. Based on the works by Homura Kawamoto. Please support the official release. Hello there YouTube, Jinaki with more Kekikurui XX Season 2 of Compulsive Gambler Episode 3. And last time we had sort of the beginning of the whole election tournament thing, magic shenanigans. Where all of these uh, bummy clan women are gonna duke it out. Uh, including Yumiko, because apparently she's part of the family, who knew? Well, Manga Raiders knew, I suppose. In any case, I'm still somewhat slightly sick, so... Let's get this over with. Yeah, at least my coughing once again interrupts this. Anyway, episode in three, two, one. Oh yeah, we saw the end of that. It's kind of adorable that you really thought you stood a chance in this. Certainly side characters. I suppose those were a lot of votes, huh? Is it now? Because you don't agree with the whole way this is being played or with who's on the winning side? You know, I've said this before, oh, visually, the opening is very interesting, but beyond that, it just doesn't really stick with me. Somehow. Also, some of these just feel straight up like from their, like their poses from season one. Not that it really matters, but just find it odd. Oh yeah, we had the little ending scene with those two. Thanks for uh, reminding me. <laughs> Yes, thank you for your sponsorship. Without you, we couldn't have had this season 2 that everybody was eagerly waiting for. <laughs> I feel so condescending towards it for some reason. <laughs> yeah. As if she knew, or cared for that matter. Well, go figure, because, yeah. And they are the Chinese folks, I guess. It feels like this is such a huge family that it's absolutely no way to even keep a proper overview. But then again, this is like such an important family that people are very eager to keep an overview. <laughs> Everybody's the enemy. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm sure that's a thing. <laughs> Caught a bit off guard there, did you? Yeah. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Well, all of you in a little match. Or something like that. So, were they cheating then? I mean, no real surprise there, but... Well, I don't think she was playing all that fair either, but oh well. Yes, please do. Because honestly, a fair game would be most disadvantageous for uh, Yumeko. Since her whole shtick is just turning it around and, po and using their own tricks against them. She wants a fair game. A real gamble. Well, you've only got one chip though, right? <laughs> yes, en let's enjoy it. <gasps> I don't know if there's generally something wrong with the election other than the fact of how it's being carried out. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, so... Yeah, this is getting really annoying. Yeah, I mean... That! Can you go into voting depth? Oh, just... Yeah, that, that just sounds delicious though, doesn't it? <laughs> Although, doesn't that mean that you can add uh, indefinitely many votes? Years worth of it? Ah, great. All right. Got to remember to cut that out. Hmm. Well then. Well, you've been busy. Hmm. Is this the kind of thing where you have a vote in both hands? Like, uh, you have one in both hands, they say, for example, left, you open up the right hand, nope, it was here. Well, seems fair. And generally, I do believe that she is fair, at least. Does it, though? Well, actually, yeah. Zeros are good. Thirty votes, yeah. What were you expecting, dude? <laughs> well, 
Well, that's great math. I would have just said 30 days, but oh well. Does it? Yeah, just raise it to, I don't know, 300 or something. No, okay, you called. Well, you know, she's got plenty of those chips. Of the actual voting chips. Also, are these like, uh, I don't know, dummy chips void? Uh, after the game, they're just for betting purposes here. Well, she's even popped out. Well, not much you can do in the first move, I think. You sure about that? Well, yeah, that would be ideal. Or they might just be as crazy as Yumika. Nope. I mean, either a, she's the kind of person who likes to lull people in by pretending that she isn't good at the game, or she just has that many resources that she can somehow, I don't know, bully people into being able to keep going. Yeah, what's up with her? That's weird even for her standards. So, Fido is what we were calling them this time, huh? Are you allowed to exert physical violence on them? I guess so then. Well, you can choose, but... The Stanford Prison Experiment thought us anything, Dan. We choose not to. Wow. <laughs> Victims of the Academy, I suppose. Yes, please do tell. I will allow you around. That, that's nice of you. So, in a way... Either way, you get what you want, huh? In a certain... Like, I don't know what exactly her goal is, but... It feels like either outcome could suit her. She's so adorably cute and meek somehow without that.
well, wasn't that knowledge before? I refuse. How nice. <laughs> That's fair. Honestly, you don't even know. Ah, uh, through blackmail now, whatever. Ooh, I get it now. A terrifying poison, huh? And she did hug you at the beginning. That was nice. So, in the end, she just poisoned them, huh? No, who would think that? What a place for the title too. Well, she doesn't have absolute proof. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, go figure. Well, that would be forfeiting the game, though. Will she now? Hmm, well that happened, huh? Well, fair enough, huh? <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Kind of felt a bit more like a loyal dog just follows around whatever orders given, huh? Is it though? Well, well, all of them? Well, hasn't this game just become all the more interesting? Although I really question whether the whatever poison they use is actually lethal.
Yeah, no, I don't think that's really it. I mean, for him, maybe, yes, but... Well, for what it's worth, at least the game is being played fair. Well, either this is going to turn transition to the next episode, or we're actually going to wrap this up fairly quickly. I would hope for a quick resolution, just for an in-your-face in moment. Well, I suppose Yumiko just trusts her. <laughs> oh, it would be fun. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Is it though? Something like that. Well, go ahead and trust her, I suppose. No, oh, I think you are looking down on her just a little bit. I'm rather curious how this is going to play out, but I'm afraid uh, this is where the episode ends, so... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's actually a great moment for him. Like, he's growing up into a crazy person. <laughs> Sure it will. God damn it. I was really hoping we actually got the conclusion this this episode, but I'm fine with this. By the way, in this game, isn't it possible to get a handful of zeros, which would effectively be ultimate victory? Like, you cannot lose with that hand. Of course, you could compare this to, like, uh, Royal Flash uh, in poker. Kinda, like, uh, it's very unlikely that you would lose with one, so the whole... Idea is just that you bet in such a way that you keep the other person betting as well to actually increase the pot. <laughs> I've run out of things to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, just a little bit of preview, huh? Well, that sounds fun. Fun times all around. Seriously, I've run out of things to say. I have no idea what Mary's plan and all of this is, uh, but I'm pretty sure they're going to win. So, yay, they get the antidote, and, well, these two can go shove it or something. And, 
And that's it, so... Until next time, see you then. Bye!